Hello my viewers. This is a vlog that I've decided to make today because I just want to rant on something. This is something that has been bothering me for a while now, for years. And, and, and what it is is why are there no building codes, at least that I know of, at least here in Florida, and that state that there needs to be a 120 volt receptacle like the one right yeah the one right there and also a hose bib like that one say for I don't know within 25 feet of a condensing unit there really needs to be both a 120 volt receptacle and a hose bib by all condensing units, at least condensing units. This is not really a big, big problem, I don't think, say in residential settings, but in commercial settings, such as at public schools and other buildings and things like this, this is a big problem. Because there's many cases when I have to stretch, say, 300 feet of hose just to clean a coil because the nearest hose bib happens to be 300 feet away. Or if I have to put a vacuum pump on a system, I have to run maybe 300 feet of extension cord. It's, it's ridiculous. And I want to know why, what, what is preventing from this from happening, in new, even in new construction. It's like that. What is preventing this from happening in new construction at the very least? Uh, I realize that there's very little that can be done to retrofit, unless, of course, um, you know, the owners of the building want to uh, cough up the expense of, of doing that. And, and, of course, let's face it, really, if anything, it, it benefits the technician that has to work on the equipment. But it's, it really needs to be code. I really do think that the uh, building inspectors or whoever makes these building codes need to... Uh, make these this a building code okay uh, and it needs to be enforced because I know that not all building codes are enforced but this needs to be enforced at least in new construction well that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about um, and I'll, please let me know it can't possibly be uh, unions that would be getting in the way like the electricians union I'm sure they'd be all for it or the plumbers union I'm sure they would be all for it. I don't get it. What's the problem here? 